Hi YouTubers, this is Kate. Welcome to my channel. I'm excited that you are joining me. I don't really know what to say. Um... This is Kate. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Um, this is something that I've actually been thinking about doing now for a good, I'd say, year or so. Um, and I'm at a point in my life where I'm not currently working and this just seemed like uh, a good time to get started. So let me tell you a little bit about what I am hoping to do here. Um, at the end of the day, I want to share um, my story of chronic illness and invisible illness um, and I really hope to connect with other people who are going through um, problems in their life that are causing them to feel unwell or not at peace. Um, it could really look um, any way for you. Um, for me, I have chronic Lyme disease um, and quite a few other uh, related co-infections and disorders that are um, really halting my life and um, making me feel uh, not okay, <laughs> to put that simply, not okay. Um, and I go out on YouTube a lot because I have a lot of time on my hands and um, there are some videos and some vlogs that I follow about infertility and other different medical challenges. And I know my husband will sometimes say, why are you watching all this depressing stuff? Um, it's not depressing for me. It's, it, it is amazing to watch other people be strong as they go through their challenges. Um, and it makes me feel like I can do it too. And so I, one of the biggest reasons why I wanna do this is because I, want to hopefully be that person for someone else, maybe at the beginning of their Lyme journey or at the beginning of another, you know, really hard time in their life um, where they just need to see that we're all human. We all have our stuff that we have to deal with. So number one, it's really to connect with people. Um, I also want to educate people about Lyme disease specifically. Um, and everything that comes along with it. I don't, I, I didn't know anything about Lyme disease. I had a boyfriend in high school, like, I, you know, I dated him for like a month and a half. I think we went to the movies or something together. Um, and he got Lyme disease one summer and it was a big deal. And then he came back, you know, to school in September and, oh, I took 30 days of antibiotics and I'm fine. And that's the only thing I knew about Lyme. So I thought it was serious, but you get treated and, it, and it's over in 30 days. And um, I've been sick, actively sick since 2014. Uh, and as we sit here, this is my first video and it's February, it's March of 2018. I just turned 30. So anyway, I want to educate people because I think um, a lot of people don't understand what's going on. Um, it's an invisible disease. A lot of people don't understand what that actually means. They think that that, I think there are some people out there that just think that that's uh, stupid. So um, I, <clears throat> I think that it would be really helpful, um, especially for people starting out uh, as well on their Lyme journey to have a place to come and understand maybe what they're about to go through. Um, at the beginning of Lyme treatment for me, uh, I know I definitely went on YouTube and was looking for uh, people um, that were going through it uh, so I could kind of try to understand what all the words meant and what all the feelings were going to be. Um, it was really helpful. Of course, one of the biggest things that I had to learn and what I ask that, that you keep in mind um, is that every single person is different and every single experience with this disease of 300 plus symptoms that's the great mimicker of many other diseases and disorders. Um, it's, it's different for every person. So, um, you know, don't take my word as this is going to be your experience. This is just my experience. 
Um, also, um, in the area of education, um, I also want to make it very clear that I'm not a doctor. Um, I am an HR professional. Um, please do not do anything um, or take anything that I talk about being helpful without talking to a doctor. Um, everything that I do um, or take or practice has all been recommended to me by somebody who has the credentials to do so. So please no, um, no, no taking my advice as medical advice, please. I, that would not make me happy. Another thing that I wanna do is uh, really start to track for myself um, and also for my family, what's going on with me. Um, this journey has taken, uh, it's taking a lot longer than anyone thought that it was going to take. Um, and I know that there are a lot of questions that my friends and family have, and they might not necessarily know how to ask them, or they'll wonder, do I even want them to ask me? Would I feel like talking about it? Um, so I would like to be able to, to create something where I put out a, a video on a weekly basis to kind of say, hey, this is where I am. This is what's happening. Um, that way everyone kind of stays on the same page about what's going on. So that's my initial plan. Um, those are a lot of objectives. Um, I can do it. I believe in myself. I can accomplish all of those things. Um, this blog, I'm not going to get into a lot of uh, detail about uh, what my story has been, I'm going to give you just a little bit of an overview. And then um, I think the next few vlogs, I'm really going to get into the details of my story, um, what's have been happening since December of 2014, to get everyone all caught up. And then after that point, what I'd really like to do um, is topic videos um, based on what you guys, uh, you know, want to learn um, or don't understand um, based on things that that I've learned about, you know, genetics work, um, medications, detoxing, herxing, how do we do all of, all of these things and what do they actually mean, um, diets and cooking and, and what to eat when you're dealing with what part of what disease. Um, I'd love to do to do some of that and then also just kind of keep pace with what's happening with me. Um, so to give you just a little bit of an overview, um, I was uh, really healthy for the most part. I never had a problem that um, I never had a problem that completely took away my um, my ability to feel like myself or function. Um, and then that changed really, really fast in December of 2014. Uh, I started getting um, very overwhelmingly powerful physical symptoms and psychological symptoms that uh, I could not make go away. I went to several doctors of all different um, disciplines and there were a lot of really good ideas about how to make it all go away and what it could be, um, but they they worked a little bit. They didn't fix it. It was like a round, whatever that phrase is, a round peg in a square hole or the opposite. It was like that. Um, and then one fateful day, uh, a doctor that I had been seeing for three months, and I'll get into this in more detail next vlog, um, called me in and said, I think you have Lyme. Uh, <laughs> and um, I was exceedingly happy. And we'll talk more about that. That's another topic uh, for another vlog that I want to talk about. Um, just the day that you finally get your, your mystery diagnosis um, is uh, probably like one of the happiest days of your life. And then you get knocked off your feet because you realize that's not, it's not an answer. It's just, uh, it's, it, it's not how you'll get better. You have to go through a lot of stuff. Um, so, so it, again, it's a high, but uh, we're going to talk about that at some other point. Um, I started Lyme treatment in 2016. I was tested for multiple other co-infections. Um, when a, when a tick bites you, whatever is in their system is dumped into your system. Um, so I have positive testing for, uh, Lyme disease, um, babesiosis or lichiosis. 
and Bartonella. Um, another thing that we're going to talk about is testing um, and all the flaws with the testing that is currently um, being provided by all of our doctors um, because it's following CDC recommendations. Uh, the testing is flawed um, and I show up negative every time on those tests and there are reasons for that. So that's another vlog, that's another topic. Um, I had a really hard yet hopeful and wonderful 2016. Um, treatment was really tough. I had to take a two month leave of absence at one point to handle it. Um, and to learn how to deal with it and better detox. But other than that, I was working and I was steadily improving. Um, all of my symptoms were getting better. It was nuts. It was, I, it was everything that I had ever dreamed of um, happening. Uh, 2016 came to an end. Uh, 2017 came along. I felt well enough to start actually thinking about my career growth again. Um, I landed an amazing job. Uh, building an HR department pretty much from scratch other than the payroll and benefits programs um, and I got that job and it was fantastic and then everything fell apart um, starting in April or March of 2017. Um, I since that time um, have had a lot of challenges with um, gut dysbiosis. Being on antibiotics for so long has ruined my gut. Um, I'm five to six months in, six months into gut repair right now, and I have made vast improvements. Um, I also have something called leaky gut, um, and I also had two really bad strains of bacteria uh, in my gut um, on top of yeast overgrowth. So. Gut is another topic for another video. Um, I had to stop taking all of my Lyme treatment, which means because I couldn't tolerate it anymore. And we recently discovered the reason why that is, is because I've developed something called mast cell activation disorder, um, which there's a genetic component to that, but it also uh, is triggered. There's a trigger for it. My trigger was Lyme and uh, also possibly uh, EMFs, which we'll talk about as well. It's a controversial topic. I only now, at the beginning of March of 2018, have been able to restart Lyme treatment. Um, 2017 was a horrible year. I'm currently unemployed. I've just restarted Lyme treatment. Um, there's still a lot of question marks, uh, and I'm still waiting for short-term disability to be approved. Um, been waiting for almost two months now. Um, so that's another, that's definitely another topic for another vlog. It's been a really long, interesting, terrifying, horrible, painful road. Um, but I've really learned a lot about who I am and who my husband is um, and who he is in my life and for me and um, and I've found out who my really good friends are um, and my family is it was they were invaluable to me before but now it's a word that doesn't exist um, my family has been there for me through all of this and I'm just really looking forward to building a community here of support on YouTube. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, connecting with you no matter what your challenge is. Um, life is really scary sometimes and um, it's really easy to lose sight on your hopes and your dreams and just think it's all uh, over, but it's not over. Um, so I... I, I, I think this is going to be really good. I'm going to put out videos weekly. Every Wednesday is the goal. So please subscribe to my channel. And always remember, hope is a very powerful thing. Thank you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.